It's called Ask Imemnu, or in English, Forbidden Love. And as the name suggests, it has all the drama, angst and scandal you'd expect from a soap opera. But in a market awash with American imports and big budget dramas, homegrown Turkish TV like this faces some tough competition. And in a crowded market, falling ratings can mean cancelled shows. And that's something the producers of this show know all too well. Their first show, Noor, flopped when it first aired in Turkey in 2005. It came close to being axed. But then the Saudi-based broadcaster NBC bought the series and aired it across the Gulf. Such was its appeal that the final episode attracted more than 85 million viewers. And overnight, Turkish television took off. And so that means new series like this are now in high demand. This one is dubbed into more than 10 languages. And many foreign broadcasters have snapped up the rights to several series in advance. So just what is the secret of their success? We are interested all about in Turkey. I mean, let's make a project which is going to be successful in Turkey. Then it happens to be successful in the other countries. So we are, when we are planning to make a new project, we don't think about at first, I mean, up to this point, we weren't thinking about, OK, let's do this for the Gulf region. The characters are good. The quality is OK. The drama is OK. The story is OK, good. And the, uh, when you look at the, let's say, competitors, is somehow cheaper. And that's turned these shows into big business. They can film an entire series in just six days, with two writers working around the clock and two film crews working at the same time. And since the show is dubbed into so many languages, all the dialogue is recorded later, which means fewer lines for the actors to learn. And the star of this show is Kavanj Tatlutu. His character Belul has an affair with his uncle's young new wife. And whilst off-screen his life might be a little less controversial, the show and his character has made him into a household name. This is only his fourth TV show, but he's already attracting the sort of attention you'd associate more with Hollywood than Istanbul. This is incredible. This is all I can say. This is really incredible. And my agency gave me a call, and they was like, Kwanch, you got an invitation from Dubai. You have big success there, and you cannot imagine how much, you know, your success. I said, you're kidding me. And we went there. Finally, I saw the situation, yes. <laughs> yeah. Hundreds, thousands was there. And, you know, they're yelling, crying, crazy things. <laughs> Sometimes it scares me because everybody knows you. You cannot even walk on the street. You cannot even shop. You cannot, you cannot go. No, nothing. <laughs> So for the network that commissioned the show, Turkey's Canal D, the program's success is very welcome. And thanks to big ad revenues, it's also very lucrative. But if the actors are doing well and the network is doing well, how about the producers? When Turkish TV channels order the series, they buy all the rights. But when they sell it overseas, the producers don't get any money. But from now, that's changing. Producers will get a share of the revenue. In the past, 80% of producers didn't make any money, but from now they'll start to get their share. And so back on set, production is going at full pace. This show is now in its second season, and they're already looking for the next big project. But in the meantime, the twists and turns of life here are likely to keep pulling in the viewers, and of course the cast. Ben Thompson, BBC News, in Istanbul.